First, position the patient to include the upper third of the femoral shift on the pelvic image. These are two options for marker placement on a pelvic image. One, if possible, place the calibration sphere at the level of the greater trochanter on the lateral side of the pelvis, equivalent to the level of the hip joint. Unless the patient is narrow at the hip, the marker will be projected beyond the margin of the image. Thus, refer to option two. Two, move the marker carefully to the same vertical height, bone level, between the patient's thighs, where it will be visible in the captured image. For best results, the suction base should be placed near the knees and the arm bent toward the pubis symphysis. AP hip, place the calibration sphere at the vertical height, bone level, of the greater trochanter on the lateral side of the hip. This is the same position as the previous placement of the pelvis. One, lateral oblique, designed to view the femoral stem width rather than the hip cup, which can be measured in the AP. The marker is placed laterally, mid-thigh, to best establish the level of the femoral shaft. For very large patients, any adipose tissue will need to be taken into account. Two, lateral inferior superior. Place the marker anteriorly, mid-thigh, to establish femoral canal width. Calibration sphere is located directly in line with the femur. AP femur. Place the marker midway between anterior and posterior surfaces of the shaft on the lateral side of the bone. Lateral femur, ML. Place the marker on the anterior aspect near the femoral midshaft, intersecting the femoral midline. LM, cross table. Place the calibration sphere anterior midline of the limb around the area of interest shown, as the surgeon will need to know how the lateral was taken. Annotate the image with horizontal beam, X table, or LM if possible. Position patient so an equal amount of femoral and tibial shafts are visible on the image. AP. Marker is placed on the lateral aspect of the knee in the joint line, roughly midway between anterior and posterior surfaces. However, if a patient is very muscular, this must be taken into account. Lateral, ML. Marker is placed on the anterior side of the knee, either superior or inferior to patellane the midline. Lateral, ML. See femur, slide five. AP. AP marker is placed on the lateral side of the hemorrhal head at the midpoint between the palpable anterior and posterior bony prominences of the acromion to best define the humeral head. AP marker is placed along the lateral aspect of the upper arm at the midpoint between the anterior and posterior side. Marker is placed on the posterior side of the upper arm midway between the lateral and medial surfaces of the limb. AP. Place marker on the lateral side of the neck over the midpoint between the anterior and posterior aspects of the neck. Lateral. Place the marker near the cervical spinous processes on the posterior aspect of the neck. Lateral. Place the marker near the spinous processes at the appropriate spinal region, bone level.